That's, that's what rap is. Whatever. You got something to say? Say it, motherfucker. Pac did that and it was over after hit him up. You'll never be another diss record like it. It's a rap. You were serving, motherfucker. To me, that's the best diss record ever. And can't nobody fuck with it. That's all that was. Shit was too real. Niggas was like, damn, they fucking up hip hop and all this other crazy shit, man. The song was done in a way where it just scared motherfuckers because they knew he was serious, you know what I mean? So motherfuckers was scared to go to Cali. It was just niggas speaking their mind, man. You know what I mean? When the shit came out, it was crazy. Motherfuckers was scared. Niggas was loving it. It was crazy, man. That's all that was, man. You know what I'm saying? We shut shit down on that nigga. Niggas ain't answer back on hit him up. We had the best shit ever, bro. Niggas came from the heart on hit him up, man. We was dead serious. And we wrote that song in motherfucking 10 minutes, man. That's how you know it's the realest. That's a, that's a, man, that shit is a classic, man. And that's no lie. The outlaws, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you probably like, damn, what the baby, fuck is yeah. going on? But this yeah. shit is official right here, man. No doubt. Mob Deep, we seen them niggas, you know what I'm saying? We chopped it up, it's nothing. All that shit is past shit. Pac was angry at the, the Mob Deep niggas. They never disrespect Pac. They told us out their mouth when they did Thug Life is Mine, they wasn't disrespecting Pac. One thing Pac told us, when a nigga bowed down, we should give them love. When they came to us and they said it wasn't like that and we shook hands, you know what I mean? It's all good. This is official, yeah, beef crushed, the shit is over, man. We talk like gangsters, we settled it like gangsters. Say like that. But there's still some niggas out there that we can't bow down to that we still say fuck them and we will fuck you niggas up when we see you, bro. You know we, we came on one, we holla at each other, we had some mutual friends, the shit is squashed, you can't keep old beef, keep going, 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 and going. No if it really ain't no meaning to it, you know what I mean? It's one love with these niggas, they got love for Pac, they got respect for Pac, so we doing the damn thing. But there's still some niggas out here that you will never see us like this, you know what I mean? You know, you are. You know them homo niggas, man, it never happened like this, though. Uh, all right. But the Puffy shit, you know what I'm saying? That was some shit that sprung from back then, you know what I mean? Pac felt like it was a, it was a lot of shit in the game. Simple as that, man. You know what I mean? And Pac was never a nigga to hold his tongue, so he spit it out there. So you watch BH1 and all that shit, they show the East Coast, West Coast beef, and they make it seem like Pac and Death Row was starting all that shit. When Pac did it, it was serious, though. Niggas really believed it, like Pac was going to kill Biggie and... All these New York niggas and shit. So they made that some East Coast, West Coast shit. It was never that, though. Pac loved the shit out of New York. You know what I'm saying? Pac loved New York to death, and he always say that. Two days before he got shot, we was in New York. You know what I'm saying? That's when we seen Nas and shit. You know what I mean? Them niggas chopped it up and squashed that shit they had. Pac was going to take Nas off him when he was dissing Nas on Machiavelli. told Nas he was going to take him off, but Pac died. Like, Nas was deep. He was deep. And we was deep, you know what I mean? For the record, it was never no East Coast, West Coast shit. The media put that out there, and the industry fell for it, you know what I'm saying? Everybody was running around, we need to stop this East Coast, West Coast shit, you know what I'm saying? There was never none of that. How the fuck Pac gonna hate New York and he from New York? How, how the laws gonna hate New York and we from New York and Jersey? Come on, man. This Yuck Mouth doing my motherfucking thug thing on Outlaw DVD, you dig? Niggas is worldwide, my figures, you dig? Grab a lot of records in this bitch. Outlaws, my clique, my crew. You fuck with us, we got to fuck you up. I thought you knew. I got killers and goons. Rest in peace, Pac. Rest in peace, everybody in the game, in the struggle. Get your bread on. Fuck bitches, don't trust them. And do your thug thing. Yuck Mouth signing off, bitch. And keep smoking, please. Eating like the OG of the group. Another day, another dollar. So call, keep calling the cell phone and unlock your number. Your number does not show up. Try to get it, have it, and keep it. Start eating. All of that all. What's up, y'all? Eating out, man. You can look behind me, as you can see. I'm getting the fuck out of Dodge, you heard? I'm kind of leaving the place a little nasty. Packing up everything, finna move. Next time y'all see me, I'm gonna be down in the ATL and something real bossy, you heard? Just got the new mini mansion. 
down in Atlanta, about to move up in there, over 3,000 square feet. Still balling! It's, it's gravy, it's yeah. gravy, it's gravy. No, outlaw style, MTV Cribs in reverse. Down in Atlanta, shit. This is where me and K be at, man. Lou, that's E Moms. What up, Lou? I'm about to call my mother and tell her happy birthday. It's her birthday today. My mother, 50 something years old. I can't. Don't even ask me. She's 50 something. She an OG. It's her birthday today. My album came out yesterday. Today her birthday. Last year, our album dropped on her birthday. So you see the pattern, right? Right now we about to go to Edie crib and shit. He stayed actually about six minutes from my ass. He be following me, man. You know what I mean? Nigga like a he like a fucking stalker. Welcome to Outlaw Cribs. It's Edie New House. Last time y'all seen me, I was moving out my joint in LA, the little townhouse. Y'all seen me hoisting shit. Now I'm in the new shit down in the ATL, baby. It's so lovely. Alright, this is the kitchen area right here. As y'all can see, I got some uh, house guests over here. Damn, I'm finna go neck that soon as she get out. This is my beautiful wife right here. Professional car crasher, Marina Payton. This is my mama. Professional mama. That's my line right there. And this right here is Malik. It's my oldest boy right here. Pop was always, you know what I mean, on me about raising my son and, 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 and being a father. And you know, he was like, Edie, you know, man, you know, we never had no father. You know what you missed out, you know what I mean? So be there for Malik, you know what I mean? Be there for Malik. Malik is my son, you know what I mean? That I had with his sister, Sexual Shakur. This back, this, this backyard right here. It's all mine. I'm the king round here. I'm the only one with this house paid for. That's why I'm the king round here. I got big plans for the basement. It's not the oh, come on. I got big plans for the basement, baby. Put the studio in here. Jay Mack right here, producer extraordinaire. Hey, the, um, the big smoker. Heavily, heavily smoked that, that herb, you know what I mean? It's a nice little watch I just got from Jacob. You know what I mean? I ain't no rich ass dude buying hundred thousand dollar rollers. I just got me a nice watch. When I come back, I'm gonna buy his watch, the Jacob watch. That's my next watch. I'm gonna get his back. I'm gonna come back and get that. It's a real hot watch. This is Jacob the jeweler. This is for elbows. Tupac, rest in peace. No doubt. Thanks a lot, Jacob. Be right, back. Brother. I shall return. I got a one shot deal and dog so real. I'm out here like whatever. I could pay these bills or shoot the kill. Gun of shit is all I like. Bump a bitch in the day and we fucking at night. Yeah, Gun of shit is all I love. Overpack clubs and oversized dubs. Yeah, 22's money moves in the life we need. Lifestyle up and out. Wow, that's all I gotta say. It's 
Outlaws, Napoleon, chilling with one of the OGs, one of the legends of the rap game, man. Big Cam, represent, man. What's up, family? Brother Cam, here, kicking it with my man Napoleon. Don't let him fool you. We the same age. We've been in the same long amount of time. All right. You know what I mean? So you, you also know. Muslim, huh? Yeah, I'm so also Muslim. So I'm a Lakers. All right. See that? Always. Muslims worldwide, baby. That's right. I work with a lot of rappers and the outlaws. He's 640. That's it. Unbelievable, disgusting. That's an old man, like a mad teacher. This is New York City. <laughs> you want me to do a commercial, motherfucker? Said, nah, we're in Times Square. New York did take a hard hit, man. You gotta respect niggas that takes, went through what they went through, man. Everyday workers and everybody that's living a regular life out this bitch. When that shit. When that shit happened, that'll make you want to move out the country, man. That was, it was, or make you want to move out that city. This motherfuckers that's still out here to this day, man. So you got to give respect to New York, man. And anybody that lost their families in that tragedy, bro. TRL, you see that's where MTV and shit is at. <laughs> Niggas don't know the outlaws stay coming out here and stay doing up business. Thing I hate about NY, the fucking cabs don't stop for you, man. <laughs> if I was trying to flag a cab down, yo, you'll probably see me out this bitch for probably an hour, yo. It ain't because I'm black, it's just that they be on the move, man. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucker say, oh, because I'm black, a nigga won't stop. It ain't because of that. You know what I'm saying? You gotta ask Bert, even Bert, no. You know what I mean? It's because you're black, bro. Oh, Bert said, because I'm black. They ain't gonna stop. Maybe it is, then, man. Wow, them niggas is funny. That yeah. nigga trying to get you yes. off the radio. Oh, yeah. heard this morning. Yeah, turn the radio on. Did you hear yeah. when he was talking about Beanie Siegel movie? Nah. He was like, yeah, man, that's going to be some of the best drug dealing, post slapping, <laughs> ice grilling, <laughs> says belly. <laughs> well, not me. I'm not an outlaw for you. I'm BT about to go do Rap City. You know what I'm saying? Promote, promote, promote. That's all yeah. we here for. Break a leg, homie. Fuck you. <laughs> Outlaws up in here. You could curse on our, on our you know what shit. I'm saying? Worldwide, I don't know, little kids might be checking it. So I'm just going to say Mother Farm up in here one time. You know what I'm saying? Y'all motherfuckers better pick up the album. You know what I'm saying? Because that's all it is. Y'all sugar ass business. Big Ticket doing big things. Oh boy, Poppy Collar, how you love that? I don't need no money. Just call me for the next but bucket naked video. Holla. <laughs> We out, we leaving BT. We went successful. Park, yeah. It's really on 106 of Park, in case all of y'all that don't believe it. We about to leave. Um, we had no incidences, and it was beautiful. Hopefully, we'll be invited back. 106 of Park, because I'm, you know what I mean? I'm trying to holler at free, man. You know I'm in. You disrespecting me, but with some jealousy, you don't want to fuck with me. Don't you remember me? You know my pedigree. I got a tendency, broken bottles of Hennessy. Over some jealousy. Y'all know the repertoire. You don't wanna fuck with me. Bitch. I love that. I mean, double oh, I've been here. It's straight up naughty in the outlaws. What? Ask somebody. You see who overlooking? Jersey, nigga. See who overlooking? Yeah. Yeah. Definitely official. This um Outlaws DVD. Shout out to Outlaws. Okay. Outlaws, y'all. I know what y'all doing. I know what y'all up to. Uh. Like <laughs> that. Did a little cameo on Fat Joe's video. That was cool. You know what I mean? Fat Joe always show love. Don Carter Tina. Get a close up of these. We got some new guys to put it on. NYC at the Fat Joe video doing it up, baby. You know? Now roll. This just come out once a month. The dawn of New York City right here, Fat Joe. A lot of people run around, they say they got love for Tupac. You know what I'm saying? And if Tupac is explaining on all his classic albums, this is his people, and that he love them, we must make an extra effort to support the outlaws, you know what I mean? And they real niggas, and they my peoples. And when they in New York, they hollering at me, even though they from Jersey originally. When I'm in LA, I'm fucking with them, you know what I mean?
right. Simple as that. JC, Joe Crack, the Dawn. K Slate. K, K, you're the king. You're right in the middle. Come in, man. Talking. You, put, you put that on there? Yeah, that's on there. Oh, oh, that's, that's, that's going to eat yeah, up right there. Right. Right. There was a lot of bass in it. Like, I took a lot of bass out, so it sounded a little lower than when y'all gave it to no, me. But it it's still. a little low on the CD, though. Oh, all right. Because it, so it, it wasn't mixed. It wasn't yeah. But that joint is hot, though. That joint is crazy hot. I was knocking outlaws before I even met them, man. How about that shit? Now, that's real talk right there. How about fake-ass DJs? One time for me, Slay. Tell, tell them about the fake ass. I love when you be screaming on niggas. Them niggas get slapped, man. Hurry up. Screaming Y'all niggas I go down, DJ. man. Drama King. <laughs> Slap the shit out of one of y'all bitch ass <laughs> niggas, man. It's a rap. Represent the real fucking haters. Faggots. Everybody Pussy ain't hurt. rich, motherfucker. Punk motherfucker, get that case slay. Ah, <laughs> uh-huh, this shit was longer than my old girl. Yeah, yeah. Young Noble Outlaw. We got a motherfucker out of his stores right now. Novocaine, that's the medication of the street. Like when you see a fiend on the corner nodding off that dope. That's what this motherfucking music do to niggas and numb that pain. Because the struggle continues, you bastards. Outlaws for life. K Slay, keep doing your motherfucking thing, boy. You hold it down. Ringing bells from Harlem to motherfucking Africa, nigga. Hey, That's what it did, did. Hey, yo, this meth right here, you know what I'm saying? You got crooked-ass cops out here trying to it's fuck with niggas. Tell game, them man. get up on the sidewalk, sidewalk and all that, you know what I mean? And if you don't move fast enough, your ass gonna get mace. But that's how it is in the NY, New York state of mind. Give a shout-out to all the outlaws. Y'all hold it down, man. True soldiers in the game, for real. All right, then. One. I'm gonna let y'all know like this, man. We all outlaws. Straight up, man. Straight up. That niggas ain't the only fucking outlaws. <laughs> Fuck that, nigga. All right. It's, it's, all right. it's, 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 that name is Onyx Outlaws. Right. Watch out for that Onyx Outlaw album, man. Y'all gonna hate that. This is one of the niggas before I had a record deal, before I met Pop, before when I was still on the block. I used to listen to this nigga shit, man. Get a love up, for real, man. That's Look out for the new gang star coming in July. Peace of okay. the outlaws. All right, peace of you the outlaws. Good luck on your shit, niggas. Niggas got always OG right here. Always. Pac was my man, too. Pac used to always look right. out. And he used to build a lot. Outlaws know that holding it down. It's for real, really for sure. Saying, basically. For Rest sure. in peace to Pac. You know how we do this Definitely, damn thing, you know what I mean? Definitely, man. All right. And that's the boy right minutes. there. All right, man. All right. You take it, man. All right. I'm saying the world don't know. You know what I mean? This is documenting L.A. worldwide, man. I'm saying the world don't know. When you came out with that, I'm a straight wider. We told Pop Mons to be that clearance. You know what I mean? Because we ain't no haters. We ain't no motherfucking haters. And we gave that, man. We told Pop Mons to give him that clearance, man. And tell him who you are, man. Boy, fabulous. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucking rider. You can't deny that. It hurts. Here with my niggas, the outlaws, we doing it up on this documentary, you know what I'm saying? Pop, poppin'. big big influence in the rap game right now, you know what I'm saying? Y'all niggas keep that nigga living, man. You heard? Let's start from no, Flip Mode Squad, you know what I mean? Move, you know outlaws, you know love and respect, you know how it is already, nigga. Ride or die to be die, motherfucker. So, you understand? Flip Mode Outlaws, exactly. Outlaws, Tupac, love the nigga, love all the outlaws. Aaron Hall, the real R&B thug. It's Trust real you, R&B thug. The resurrection coming out of May. You're going to be uh-huh. fucked up when you hear it. Give me on that remix. You know it, baby. Say it on TV, I man. You. Outlaws. A on TV. On the remix. <laughs> uh-huh. It's bananas, wetter than wet, baby. What's up, man? What's up? All right, y'all come on with us, man. We're about to take y'all on a ride y'all never been before. This is Outlaw for Life. Outlaw. You about to touch the keys of the ghetto, man. That's what I'm saying, man. Yeah, you know what it be hot? The, the outlaws on the cover of the sauce? That'll be retarded. They need to make that happen, y'all. This is Like Jersey, man. We're on the West Coast, San Francisco, California. We're in the hood, nigga. Yeah, when I 
when we first started recording back in the day, it was demos, you know what I mean? And it was, um, it was no business, it was just fun. So you do a bunch of verses with everybody in the neighborhood for money. Now it's different. Yeah, Napoleon and his bitch. Some Bay Area love, nigga. Check it out, though. Yo, Napoleon strip for the strong He'd always warm, man, I'm dying this way I'ma ride to the fullest if it come I take the bullets from Jersey to Frisco Nigga, get with it, outlaw Let me hear y'all that sound, man Man, I gave y'all a $10,000 song, bro Think y'all owe me, man For real You know, we was doing shit for free But when you get in this game, this is how you feed your kids well, this is Sean Moody last night. This is Sean Moody. Yeah, this is Sean Napoleon. All that other shit got to pan out first. Yeah, I'm going to pan out all everything else. Though. It's all great. Right. It was feeling funny at the while when I finally gave it to a point where niggas was like, man, you got to charge for a verse. When somebody say I want you on the song, you got to budget. You got to break me off. You know what I mean? Because you got to feed your family. They don't know how much. They can't count that that bad. This is my job. This is how I make my living. What is it, a blizzard? We coming from dirt to nothing. I, I mean, we trying to touch a ticket, man, for the year over with. Young swoop up in the house. Get a shot at me right here, man. Young nigga on the come up. Man, I'm about to lead the West Coast, lead this fucking country, and I'm coming back to New York, man. And we gonna do it back over again, you know what I mean? And then we go to Atlanta, we talk again. I see y'all about two weeks, man. It's enough of you yeah, this fucking okay. camera. Be advised, it's a war outside. It's like Dodge City. Not pretty, but don't nobody notice it, really. You feel me? We must ride. Castro, Castro, man, Castro got the like, he got the drunken monk style of me, man. You know what I mean? Laid back, he's smart, always on point. You know what I mean? He's always on point. You're brilliant, a brilliant motherfucker. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you a secret, man. Don't ever put that camera that close to my face, man. I ain't with that shit. Stand back there, yo. I let him know. I don't like no camera in my face. Okay. Over there. I'm gonna let him know. Man, I just said get that shit out my face, man. Yeah. I tell you what, I'm ready for you, man. You gotta... Come on, man. Get that if fucking camera came, out of my face, man. I'm never gonna pick the camera out your face. All right, well, I'm gonna shut up then. Nah, man, I'll talk to you later, man. Oh. This is the problem with this fucking camera shit. You cannot be in my face this close, fam. Man, back it up a little bit. Take it back a notch. Later on, we'll sit down, then we'll kick it, and then you don't have to worry about me no more. You know what I mean? Because that camera shit ain't my, that ain't my gig right there. Come on, let's go over here, Rude. This right here, this is my crib. This was Pop first house and shit. I just recently purchased the motherfucker back. And I'm, I'm in the process of renovating this shit right now, so I'm gonna show you. This the living room, they just started on this and shit. This gonna be like a, a, light, a light beige and a gold with a gold trimming. This right here gonna be gold. This gonna be hardwood. Stainless steel. This right here gonna be gold. Living room, but this, I'm a, this gonna be hardwood floors. Put a pool table right there. Probably a couch. Yeah. And puppy shade. This gonna be like a um, entertainment room or whatever. We ain't gonna put our studio down here and shit. We gotta get it done and shit. They're gonna do it too. Gotta be done. That's the garage. Like I said, this is Pop's first crib, man. That was my first crib. So that's cool right there. That's my garage, my punch bag, I be fucking that shit up, man. I get irritated, I whoop that fucking bag ass, man. You know? So what's next? There's some palm trees out here, son. If y'all remember when Pac was on the cover of the source, the first cover of the source, that's what he was standing at out here and shit. And for all y'all Pac fans and everybody who care about that type of shit, he was out here. This is where we all used to stay here, man. When he got locked up, he left us in here. We tore this house up, man. They actually, the feds came and kicked us out, this motherfucker. Somebody around this motherfucker told him we had bodies in the fucking attic. And we was shooting guns and dropping kilos off and shit. But they had this house sounding like uh, the 4th of July. They used yeah, to shoot so many fucking guns. Pop used to shoot this bitch up with his mat. 
every every oh, once in a while he'll murder he'll murder the lawn with the fucking mat, <laughs> fucking grass killer and shit. Like crazy, man. <laughs> I do a breathing pattern every time I start my car. Before we get to where we going, you gonna hear it go. Mm. Kids don't drink and drive, man. You know what I'm saying? I've been drinking and driving since I was about 13 years old, and I've been getting caught. So, public service announcement. That's what happens when friends let friends drive drunk. I was with him every time. That's why I rap the way I do and talk about the things I talk about. We talk about the things we talk about, man. Anything I talk about is some real shit, you know what I mean? From the Magic City. I'm representing the outlaws to the fullest. Y'all knew them thugs, you know what I mean? I'm a product of what that nigga Tupac was putting down. Y'all niggas don't know, hold on. But I'm back already. I got Steelo Bell, Big G in this motherfucker. I got my Mo Thugs family. Yeah! Bone Thugs and Harmony. And most of all, the outlaws still standing strong. See, now I got the profits to y'all. We gonna be here humiliating the fake niggas, glorifying the real niggas. Cause that's what we do, dog. Flat out. Flat out. And this just from my heart. From my heart, and I know my bone thugs feel me because they always with me. Now, if not in physical form, in the spiritual form, you feel me? And that's all love. Rest in peace, E. Rest in peace, Pop. Y'all know how I go. Yeah, laws. Y'all boys do it, man. Represent for the game. Y'all got to bring the game back to where it's supposed to be. You know, real players in the game because I know we on the same mission. You know, it come from right here, and I know it. Game recognized game, good game, peeps all game. Real is real, the truth is what it is, and, and it, you know, it always reveals itself. Elevation preparation, about to take this over. About to get a face in this game, I'm made so much. Tired of niggas giving me the same, run around. You selling coke, shooting the blocks, who's a rapper style? Nigga, please spare me all the details. Me and my gon' fall to see hell. We fail, nigga, I never, never. I got a one-shot deal, and dog so real. I'm out here like whatever, I can pay these bills or shoot the kill pops, gonna shit is all I like, bump a bitch in the day and we fucking at night, yeah, ghetto shit is all I love, overpack clubs and oversized dubs, yeah, 22's money rules in the life we lead, lifestyle up and out for OG, I've been a straight gutter nigga for all my life, so ghetto shit is all I like, like loud mouth foes, yeah. loud mouth folks, yeah. suck three days straight, thugging in the same clothes, we we take money, money without asking permission. Well, this right here is going to be the pop, um, Tupac Amaro Performing Arts and that shit. That's the picture. They got a picture up there of what it's supposed to look like and shit. So come on, let's go to it. These are the classes right here. This is the auditorium. It's the real state of the art auditorium. I think it's going to have a studio in there. Mm -hmm. This is like a 500 seat auditorium right here. It's like going to be like the ghetto Carnegie Hall right here. Like they got Monument yeah. Park and Yankee Stadium. It's going to be mining like a little wall of fame type of shit right here, man. In a uh, ravine, uh, um, courtyard. I think this is the courtyard right here. No, something like that. This is the park lot courtyard. But it's gonna be a beautiful thing when they get it done. Man. Damn show sure is. It's a real big deal right here. Killer Gaddafi, thug and peace, you know what I'm saying? He the one who brought me to the laws. He responsible for half of the outlaws. I, I met Pop from Gaddafi, the late great Gaddafi. That's Pop like half brother. Hey man, Pop the king, Gaddafi the prince. That's the relationship right there. But on a, on a, on a deeper level, they was God brothers, you know what I mean? They grew up together since babies, since infants. Pop raised that nigga. It's like he raised all the rest of us, you know what I mean? So we grew up in New York City, man. You know what I mean? Yak eventually moved to Jersey. Edie was in Brooklyn at the time and shit. And it was just funny how I was rapping. I ain't, I ain't speak to Gaddafi in years. Like five years plus probably went by. So Mu'an and Yak Moms, which is Gaddafi, 
they was peoples. And his mom's was like, yeah, Kadok, y'all keep rapping now, boom, 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 boom. And she was like, Muta doing the same thing. But at that time, we ain't know each other was rhyming, you know what I mean? Because he was with Pop. So we got the hook up. So um, it just ended up with Yacht, Pop, Edie, Cash, all came to New York years ago. And they called me up and I went to New York years ago, met Pac, and it was on ever since. I grew up with that nigga in Jersey, you know what I'm saying? He brought me to the table and shit, man. I'm just trying to just trying to hold it down. You know, the nigga looking at a nigga and shit, you know what I'm saying? You got to, what the fuck? I want the nigga to be proud, like, you know what I mean? Nigga put me in a position, nigga kept at it, you know what I mean? feel like the core of this shit. To me, he the reason why this shit began. In the studio, we used to have this thing where uh, the engineers start fucking up, and that's money. You know what I mean? You paying money to be up in these studios and shit, right? So Pac used to go, stand behind that motherfucker right there. And the next time he fuck up, slap the shit out his ass, right? So one day, it was going down like that, right? So Pop was like, Yak, stand behind that nigga. Next time he fuck up, slap the shit out his ass, right? So Yak standing there, right? The engineer fucking up, but he tried to do something slick, like go to the bathroom or something after he fucked up. So Yak, being a nigga, he was like, hold the fuck up. Yak stole down the hallway. Yak walked up to the nigga and said, bam, slap the shit out of him. That's where the hand of Gaddafi came from, though, right there, man. Ever since then, old TB always talk about, don't make me whip the hand of Gaddafi out. <laughs> Slap the shit out your bitch ass. <laughs> but y'all definitely lost out with y'all, because y'all ain't even get to know that nigga. Y'all ain't even get to see how raw Gaddafi is, you know what I mean? We do shows back in the days, this nigga 15 years old. We do shows, girls screaming for Pac, and then they screaming for that nigga. He had his own chair in section. As soon as the nigga step out, it's just that nigga, Don Juan. Don Juan of this rough shit, just like he said on me, niggas. Yeah. Right we don't there. shed tears, we shed blood. Do you still want to be a thug, huh? I got the me, nigga, no more pain. That was a motherfucking real nigga, man. Couldn't get no realer than that, man. He, that was my man, man. Word up, man. It was real close, man. We used to talk. He used to sneak me blunts and shit when my brother told me not to smoke. But, you know, we did a lot, man. I knew Gaddafi since... I was like six, seven years old, man, for a long time. And the good die young, though. That's real talk. I, I witnessed it too many times, you know? Too many times, man. But you know you're here with us every, everywhere we go and shit. You're here with us. All that is boomers. You know what I mean? But he's the only one that's that American Most Wanted bullshit. He the only one that's seen it, bro. Let's move on to the next question, man. And then the shit happened in Jersey with y'all. And ever since then, it's been like really some it been a real s weird situation going on with our shit. But Pac started all this shit. He was the first outlaw. That was the original outlaw, the original thug. You know what I mean? So anybody, whoever you hear say thug, thug this, thug that. You know what I mean? Niggas know who the fuck they got it from, man. The, the dawn, you know what I mean? Thug in peace, where we up. Everywhere we go, he the reason I'm here right now. The beat LA's home for hip hop and RB the B side La La Eric Kubichi hanging out with the Outlaws. Yes. Oh, Noah Kane in store yeah. Yeah. What was the, What was it like to be in the studio with that man? Man, Pac just said, Be you, man, and yeah. everybody got to be a leader. Know what I mean, so we was we was trying to focus on our own thing. Know what I mean, at the same time, being behind him. Yeah, it was hard to work, go behind him, though, man. That, that's, that's, that's hard work, Yeah, dude, that's man. what I was thinking, man, because I'm like, yeah, we got to have some talent to write. You know? so when we was in the studio with Pac, it was really, you got to serious, be serious and watch. You know what I mean? He was teaching us shit. He was passing us the game. We sucked it up, man. So basically, it was school to me. Ain't even really seen our talent yet, man. We got a lot of talent. You know what I mean? Pac, some sort of good work, work ethic, man. You know what I mean? Do you guys ever get like tired of people asking you about Pac? Or is that the no, For us to get tired of people asking us about Pac, it's for us to get tired of doing what we do. He gave us a lot of love, man. Anybody that take you out the hood and teach you how to get that money, that's beautiful, boy. I feel like I owe Pac my life. I got the same script that Pac had a helmet me. 
Is it tough to put out like this album right here without like a like Tupac around? You know what I mean? Is it is it tough to put it all together? It's always tough, man. You yeah. know what I mean? Cause you know what I mean. He was he was our mentor and everything, but we men, man. Yeah, we gonna we keep it moving, man. Wrong. You know what I mean? We're not trying to lean man, on Pac. So. We're not trying to use yeah. Pac like a lot of people trying to use him. Get him on their album. Get some extra sales. That ain't what it's about. You know what I mean? And basically, this is what Pac want us to do, man. He yeah. want us to ride along. He want us to make it. You know what I mean? Pay the way for the young soldiers. Don't nobody care. Feel, y'all. I threw a party at L.A. Dre's house, called Pac and them. I say, look, man, I'm about to have a party out here at L.A. Dre house, and, um, you know, we're going to have, like, a stripper thing. You know, we balling. It's just 100 miles an hour, you know. So all, we had about 40, 50 naked girls, you know, and food, drinks, everybody having a good time. Pac had, uh, you know, was getting along real good with a couple of female friends, and, you know, he took his... You know, I gave him a little privacy room where he could sit down, don't have to talk amongst all that people hollering and, you know, having a good time. And the following morning, after everybody left, we went in the room. Now, my you, Dre, L.A. Dre got like 20-foot ceilings. <laughs> and for some, it was cum and blood and uck and weed and shit on the ceiling. And I would ask Pac, I would ask Pac, like, Pac, how you get all that shit on the ceiling? And he would just bust out laughing. And to this day, he never told me how that shit got up there. He would just laugh, man, hard. Every time I asked him, it tickled him so well. That's one for the road. We, we never did find that one out. Hey, what's up? Can I holler to Outlaws? Yeah, they're right what's here. Up, what's up, baby boy? What's up, Outlaws? What's happening? Uh, Who this? Yeah, this Castro. Castro? Yeah, you know. Okay. okay. Yeah, right. What's popping though, baby? Hey, y'all doing a hell of a job holding down pot. Appreciate Thanks. that, people. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people jump ship when... uh. It got down the time to do it, you know what I mean? One thing about us, we never was hating who using pop name and who doing all that. It's just the way you do it, man. You know what I mean? Never was no problem with no limit. None of them niggas, man. You know what I mean? They never disrespected us. We never disrespected them. We was rolling with pop, man. You know what I'm saying? Whatever whatever pop was with, we was with, man. If you wanted to whoop somebody's ass, we was with him. If you wanted to diss some niggas, we was with him, man. If you're going to fuck with Pac and you're going to wear the tattoos and you're going to try to rap like on the bandana and everything, give it up to him. You know what I mean? One thing about Ja Rule, boom, he give it up to Pac. You know what I mean? But there's certain niggas that run around and don't really give it up to Pac. And this is the way you do it, man. Pac was the best. So, you know what I mean? You're going to get motherfuckers that's filling this flow and try to come up off the staff. You know what I mean? So Pac was the best that ever done it. So you're going to get them type of motherfuckers, man. We got something that y'all can laugh about. This is one of Pop homies. Pop used to always call a Puerto Rican essay and shit. It's only, it's only Puerto Rican essay. Yeah, yeah, he got a picture rep, still representing Pop, man. But if you can, zoom up on his pants. <laughs> <laughs> this is a legendary, legendary MC Hammer pants. That's right. I'm going to be honest, Pop resting in peace, man, because I don't want niggas to think his mom's playing games. Because his mom's like one of the beautifulest women, and she a real woman, bro. You know what I mean? So I want to be like, because fans did say that if he faking his dad, why is his mom's getting on TV faking? Basically, she is no fake Pac West and Peach, you know what I mean? And his mom's not faking. A mother would not, she ain't the type that'll do that, you know what I mean? She really hurt and she really, she that's why she got the record company, because people say, well, if he was dead, why she get the record company? The reason why she got the record company is to keep her son music out there. She feel like can nobody promote and put her son music out there with the love as like what she can do. She feel when she put his music out there, it's coming from her heart. She feel anybody else is doing it for money. She doing it because she know that's what her son want. You know what I mean? That's what Pac would want. You know what I mean? If it ain't the outlaws, because we got her back, he want his mother and his sister to do that. You know what I mean? My heart Pac a lot, man, so I, I'm going to leave it like if you feel like he alive, he alive, you know what I mean? If, if you want him dead, then that means he's a hater and you want him to be dead. To me, y'all take that and roll with it, bro. You know what I mean? Outlaw fans. I think I think we got the loyalist fans, period. You know what I'm saying? Off the, off the love of pop, because cause pop fans is like... The motherfuckers ain't even his fans. The motherfuckers is like his family, you know what I'm saying? They they feel a nigga heart, so it's like it's deeper than that shit, you know what I'm saying? Everywhere we go, motherfuckers got outlaw tattoos. Go to fucking Germany, motherfuckers got outlaw tattoos. You know what I'm saying? Our fans just, you know what I mean? I think they, our, our fans is like family, man. Outlaw 
Outlaw Records down for life. You know, we're representing this Danny right here from San Mateo, the Bay Area. Keep it real, Outlaw style, one. Frisco to the bank, nigga. Outlaw, this your boy. Big body Cisco, nigga. Frisco got love for the Outlaw, nigga. Outlaws, you holding it down, my man. It's real talk, yeah, they. Keep it real, man. Real talk. This is Double A. Capital of the crime of Puerto Rico, the firm with my niggas, the outlaw. We live the thug life here in the island too, you know what I'm saying? It's a hard. Our lives represent for the West Coast, we give them much love. I think our fans is like family, yo. They loyal to us, you know what I mean? It's like they feel us, man. They they feel our pain, our struggle, you know what I'm saying? They We got some good fans, man. We love y'all for keeping us in the motherfucking game and keeping the legacy going, because without y'all, the outlaws ain't shit, you know what I'm saying? So. Love y'all, man. You know what I mean? Thanks for keeping us alive, us and Pop. You know what I'm saying? We owe it all to y'all. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, man, this is your man, Tony Sunshine, Terror Squad, holding down with the Outlaws here today. We doing it. It's popping. O N Y X now. We doing Outlaws. Shit, and this is real shit right here, you know what I'm saying? This is, this is as gangsta as it gets, you know what I'm saying? Do the damn thing, baby. Always there, every day, you know what I'm saying? Holding it down for my dogs, the outlaws and shit. Outlaws and NYC, baby. Fucking with real niggas, you know NYC, baby. Don't get no gangsta in my head. That's right, Eric Kubichi right here in Los Angeles, representing Outlaws to the fullest. Ooh, sick group of MCs right there. Y'all check this DVD out. You heard? No doubt. ATB across the board. Get it fucked up. Parliament Funkadelic up in here, too. Yeah, we all from North. Logo King. Logo King. Outlaws. Anything y'all need. Tone track masters, man. Track masters and Outlaws. We're going to make hits together, man, real soon. All right, man. It's cool, 187, a butter law up in here. You know how we do it. Thugs. OGs in the rap game right there, real OGs. East, West, you know. You know, we go, Jer we go Jers all the, way to, all the way up north. They say shit to a nigga come to the motherfucking bricks, nigga. Yeah, no. We can take yeah, that's where you gotta go. Yeah. We go to Jersey on this bitch, nigga. We to the hood. I don't know anything about the band, but I hope it's a good one. <laughs>